everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for cancer. Hope you guys are all well. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a great big welcome to all the new viewers. Let's see what's happening with you guys. Overall energy surrounding cancer regarding love and romance. What is the overall energy and love and romance surrounding cancer? Here we go. I feel like I need to shuffle one more time. There we go. Cancer. Uh, deep freeze. This one wants to come out to mountain. Ooh, things are frozen, stuck. You've got a mountain. There is like some burden. Somebody's burdened by something. Someone maybe left someone out in the cold or things are just frozen and stuck. Uh, there's a lot of burdens here with this mountain. And then we have the wizard of awareness. Yeah, someone's very aware. They have a huge mountain to climb. Okay, yeah, this person feels froze out. They're aware of what happened. They're burdened by the fact that they froze you out. Things are stuck. They're not moving. Ooh, we have uh, Virgo Gem Gemini kind of energy, but it could be anybody, okay? Whenever I see wizard or magic, I always think of the magician energy, uh, of course, as you can see here. But this is just a wizard yeah, this person's very aware. This person's very smart, very aware of the of the burdens, very aware of uh, what they have to do, this mountain they have to climb to do with this deep freeze. So they're kind of stuck right now, probably trying to figure out how to fix a situation or what to do. Okay, yeah. All right, Cancer, what's coming in, what's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Cancer viewers? Clear messages and guidance, please, for Cancer so they can make clear decisions regarding their love life. Love and romance energy in the cards. What do they need to know? All right, Cancer. Ah, Nine of Chalices. Yeah, somebody is hoping to get a wish come true here. And have a new beginning. Somebody wants to offer up a cup of love. They want to offer a new beginning. Okay, a fresh new start. Mm -hmm. But there's a mountain. There's some burdens here. Yeah, somebody was left out in the cold. I feel like somebody was ghosted. Someone feels like there's not a lot of hope in this. Because in the past, they may have offered one cup, kept the rest of themselves. Okay, yeah. And they're very aware of this. Okay, they get what's happened. They get what they did. They made someone feel like they weren't good enough, ghosted them. Things have been just frozen. All right. I feel like this person is missing you. They feel like this is kind of hopeless, but they're hoping that you'll grant them this wish, a new beginning. So, yeah, uh, this is somebody I feel that uh, they were in and out, offered one cup, came in, got the passion, and off they went again. All right, they ghosted you, I feel, Cancer, okay? Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay, or it's just an energy, yep, Five of Cups, yeah, this person regrets that. They feel like there's not a lot of hope. I feel like they feel a bit of shame for being that way, all right? They're, this is somebody who didn't take your feelings into consideration, okay? They turned their back on... Uh, acknowledging your feelings so they now feel like there's no hope they are I feel like they feel some shame for what they did how they behaved all right Aries Leo Sagittarius yeah this person wants to come towards you they want to make peace they've learned a lot from this too uh, they have they're taking everything they've learned uh, they're very aware all right it's been a learning process they've gone through a learning like a transition and they're coming towards you to make peace Okay, so be prepared, Cancer. Yep, here they come. They're going to come in and offer you, again, a cup. Knight of Chalices. They're going to take action. They're coming in differently this time, okay? Before they came in and out, they feel some shame. They're going to, this could be a very big apology, or they're going to come and want to get together, talk to you to share their feelings, okay? Uh, they certainly didn't care about your feelings in the past. They turned their back and... Uh, you know, they just didn't take yours into consideration. So it's a be careful what you wish for situation. Yeah, of the world. They're coming back around the world tree. This person's gone through a lot of growth. Uh, they want things to evolve. They want to move forward. Okay. I feel like they have learned a lot and they've evolved. They're very aware of what they've done and what they need to do. 
Cancer. Yeah, so here they come. Yeah, they're becoming anxious and patient. They want to charge in, clear the air, clear things up. Uh, I feel like they might be a little indecisive because they feel like there's not a lot of hope. And they know this is a big mountain to climb, but they're very burdened uh, by what they did. And there's the shame in the middle, this feeling like there's no hope. Uh, definitely have a lot of regrets for what they did, how they acted. Okay, Cancer. So let's see what's going on with the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so now we have woo. Yeah, so I feel this person wants to come in and take a risk and move towards you. Okay, they want to take this leap of faith. They're hoping you'll grant them this wish. Uh, they're hoping that you'll, you know, you'll come back to them, basically. Ooh. Don't know. You may have taken a risk with this person. Okay, you may. It may have been you. If you've got Aries, Leo, or Sag, I feel like they could be an Aries. This person maybe went off, you know, on a new path. Or, but I feel like they're coming back in to take a risk. They're hoping you grant them this wish. We have the eight of, Ace of Chalices. What's going on with the Ace of Chalices? Yeah, they're very passionate about this new beginning. I feel like this person did. You took. They took a risk. They're coming in. I feel like it's possibly you. You may have taken a risk with this person thinking you were getting a wish granted, but they were really only here for the passion, okay? There was a very passionate new beginning. Uh, you had hoped that there was this cup of love, that there was a new beginning in love, and then they ghosted you, all right? They were in and out. They treated you like you weren't good enough. It made you feel pretty bad, okay? So yeah, they don't they know there's an there's a problem. Yeah, they didn't they treated you like you weren't good enough. They left you out, didn't invite you to something, never introduced you to friends and family. Yeah, so this person's focusing on this, okay? They're still very focused on this. Okay, they're paying they know what they did, they know what they need to do. There was a lot of gossip and talk about this as well. Okay, there but there's something here where they left you out of. They didn't include you in anything. I feel uh, they are focused on it. This could be you. You may have stood in your power and stood up to this person. You may have even left them out in the cold, Cancer. If you've got Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart, it could be you as well. So you may have taken off in another direction, uh, definitely. So you might have actually ghosted this person because of this. So take it however it resonates. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. What is this Knight of Wands? Yeah, I feel like you both might have some fire in your chart. Maybe... Um, Scorpio or something too. Tell me about the Knight of Wands for Cancer. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Cancer? Yeah, so there was some competition. There was a fight and competition. Somebody went off and had a new beginning with somebody else. Okay, yeah. So they took a risk and they blew it. This person, I feel like they took this risk and went and moved in another direction. They came in towards you and then went in and out, okay? I feel uh, you may have taken a risk towards them. I feel like you're still focused on this if it's you, okay? I, I kind of feel like this is you. I feel like this is them. They may have Leo in their chart. They could be a Leo, yeah. There was a fight. There was something that was exposed here that there was competition, okay? This person wants to come in and talk to you, I feel. They want to move forward and make peace, but... I don't know. They want this new beginning, but there's, you know, I don't know. I think they're worried there's going to be conflict. They're very clear that they're very, they're, there may be to have this new beginning. There's going to be still some more conflict. I feel, wow, yeah, they, they want a new beginning with you. They want to come charging towards you. They want to take action. They, they want to fight for this. Yeah, they see you as a happily ever after, but I feel like this person was busy making themselves happy in the past. There was competition. It was exposed. You became very clear about this. So you could have the Leo in your chart. Okay. Take it however it resonates. I'm just bringing up the signs so the new people understand. Um, yeah, there's love here. Somebody, they're coming back around to fight for you. I feel like they had a choice in love before. They came in uh, and obviously they decided to go off. There was competition. They took action and went in another direction. Well, they're coming back to fight for this now. Uh, there was conflict, and I feel like there's yet to be more. Uh, there is love. They want to make things stable. They want to make peace. I feel like this person now sees you as a happily ever after, and they want to do something to make you happy. 
Uh, there's love here, definitely. You may have a choice between two people now. You may be very focused. You may have been going out, meeting new people, because this person, you felt like there was no hope with them. So you've gone out, you've been focusing on you, taking care of yourself, standing up for yourself. Yeah, if you've got Aries in your chart or Leo, it's definitely you. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I, I do still feel... Uh, you're still focused on whatever happened. It, it's... You know, you are concentrating on work. You are uh, very passionate, very creative, you know, doing your own thing. But you can't stop thinking about it, right? You're focused on them. And you certainly, I feel like what you don't want is somebody who comes in and just focuses on the passion. You want love, okay? Uh, you don't want other people involved either, nobody. Uh, but you feel like there's no hope, okay? Tell me about the five of chalices. What's going on here with the five of chalices? King of Swords. Yeah, someone's becoming very clear, very aware, yeah, of what happened, of their feelings, of that they there's regret, remorse. They want to clear things up. This person's plan is to come and fight for this, okay? They're aware of what happened, uh, what needs to happen, what's probably going to happen, but they're still headed your way. This person's you know, their their plan is to make peace, to come towards you. They want to come and see you, okay? They're clear that there may be no hope, but I think they're coming. Yeah, they're hoping to heal this. They hold you in high regard. Uh, we have, they very well could have Aquarius in their chart. Uh, you may as well, Cancer. I feel as though they hold you in high regard. They see you as a star, but they know this situation could be out of reach. They're aware that it very well could be, but they're going to come anyway. Because uh, they know they have to take action. All right. They're aware of it. Yeah. This person wants to move forward and make peace with you. They want to end this burden. Uh, they know it's not going to be easy. And they know it's possible that it's uh, it's out of reach. Okay. So, but they're going to do it. They are going to do it. And uh, because there's love here. Because they see you as a happily ever after. Uh, they're aware that you know they were just making themselves happy in the past. Okay, they were in and out. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're going to try to come in and do something. I think it'll make you happy to at least clear the air maybe with this person. Uh, to purge all this baggage and end this burdens yourself. But here they come. Knight of Cups. This could be somebody else. You may put an end to things with this person because you feel they're too much of a burden. You may move off in another direction. You could have somebody else moving towards you as well. Yeah. Like I said, we have... We definitely have some strong Aries energy here. We have some Gemini. Some of you, this is a Gemini. And some of you, it is a Knight of Chalices, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio headed in your direction this could be a scorpio who's still focused on the past all right focused on what happened feeling like there's no hope because they know all right um or this person i i feel like it's you i feel like you're you stood in your power to someone and you just like stood up for yourself and walked away the queen of staves she doesn't put up with any bs you know she'll just go off and go out and meet new people Focus on herself and focus on things and go make herself happy doing other things. He or she, Queen of Staves, right? Doesn't matter. It's just an energy. So we have the Knight of Chalices. What's going on here? What is this offer? Yeah, so somebody is thinking about this. They're pondering the idea, taking their time, thinking of something. Uh, this is somebody who... They're kind of thought, thinking about it, but they're not. They work a lot, too. They're concentrating on their pentacles, but they're thinking about coming in and making some kind of an offer. Uh, they know they have to do it right, so they're taking their time, because whatever they say, whatever they do has to be just right. This person does feel the more they look at this, all right, the more they see this, they're very burdened, because they know you're actually the right person for them, and they blew it. Yeah, end of cycle. So they're going to come out of this thinking, and they are going to move forward. They're gaining their strength and their confidence to come forward. The Wheel of Fortune is in their favor. I feel uh, definitely some strong Leo energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Yep, there you are. Yeah, this person, 
They are crazy about you, Cancer. They hide their feelings from you. And I feel like you've been kind of keeping uh, to yourself, keeping your feelings in check. But yeah, they feel that there's strength in this connection. They may have, There may have been some secrets in the past. Okay, they may have kept their feelings hidden from you. They could be a Pisces. All right, Pisces energy. They could have Cancer in their chart as well. So, yeah, wow, you guys. Tell me about the world tree. But they are, this person has evolved. Uh, they're coming back around. There's change. Get ready. Yeah, they're coming in to, they want, yeah, this person definitely, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is you. I feel like it's them. Uh, you've had a tough time in love and it's changed you. I feel like this whole situation, whatever happened, has really changed you. But it's created you. You've moved forward. I think you've had a lot of abundance and you've gone through some good change, Cancer. I feel like you've been focused on you, taking care of yourself with that Queen of Wands energy, going out, meeting new people, right? It's all good. Yeah, and uh, but this person, I feel they want they want to come back around. They want forgiveness. I feel like they've had a tough time in love. I feel like you got one person you're going to end things with. Too much burden, and I feel like you have another person coming in who's going to take a risk and come towards you. This person hid their feelings from you, too. I feel like they're thinking about you. I think both of these people are thinking about you. One of them sees you as just right. And they're thinking about making this offer. They're just kind of thoughtful. Uh, they want things to go their way. They want to go about it the right way. And this could be you as well, hoping this goes right. You have somebody coming towards you and you want it to go right. Uh, there's some strength here. So maybe you're trying to gain the confidence and feel confident about this, okay? keeping your feel. You're going to keep your feelings to yourself. You're very much in control of them. Uh, you're not going to tell a lot of people this is secret, okay? Uh, you've had a tough time in love. I don't think, yeah, you're not going to, until you're very, you're clear, you don't have the, all the clarity yet. You're not sure where this connection is going to go, this new one, or this other person who's going to come back. But uh, somebody wants to end the burdens, but somebody definitely, and I feel like it's you, it's just too much weight, this person. Uh, they left you carrying all the burdens after the way they treated you. All right. And it's been tough. It's been an uphill battle. Let's see what's going on with the night. Yeah, somebody wants forgiveness. They want to come back around. Uh, I feel like this has changed them too because they're very aware of what they did, what they need to do, what's happened, the problem they caused, the burdens. All right. So, Knight of Swords, what's going on? Yeah, so they're going to come back in. They're anxious and impatient to come towards you. But I feel like this is you. I don't know. You've got a lot of anxiety and a lot of emotions here. I kind of feel like you're indecisive because here you are drinking your tears. This person hurt you. Um, and this could be you feeling beat up. This whole thing has really changed you. It's actually made you grow in a lot of ways for the positive because I feel you become emotionally stronger. This person could be coming in anxious, impatient, maybe a little shy, wanting forgiveness. You both got some water in your chart, I feel. You don't have to, but... That's the energy. And this person comes in very sweetly and wants to communicate, right? But there's this, I feel like it's you. Hmm. Don't know. You're indecisive about this because, you know, the Princess of Cups, she's drinking her own tears. You got the Queen of Cups, she's crying. So this could be a very emotional um, communication, okay? Uh, which is definitely a, a lot of anxiety. Somebody's really full of anxiety here and uh yeah we've got a taurus energy yeah so was, I, I feel like the worry is is you're you have a lot of anxiety you're worried this person's going to come back in and i feel like you're concerned they're going to behave as they at, they did before uh their traditions and their beliefs uh, they may come in and ask for forgiveness and tell you that they've evolved and changed how they feel about uh, commitment, maybe uh, even religion, that they'll change their religion, whatever it is to do with tradition, belief, religion. Uh, they've learned a lot, too, with the Six of Swords. This person's gone through a lot of growth. It's changed them as well. I feel like you've both gone through a lot of changes since whatever it is that happened between you. Ooh, you guys. 
something happened. I, yeah, this, well, what happened is, is they came in for the passion and left. You thought you were getting a wish come true. You took a risk and let this person come back to you. It may have even been the second time where they offered you one cup, kept the rest for themselves. They were smug. I feel when this all came about, they were very smug, very arrogant. This is somebody who's very selfish. They offer one cup. They don't give nothing else. They don't share any feelings. They don't give you anything. This is the kind of person who doesn't remember a birthday or, you know, this is somebody who can be in your life for a while and in and out, you know, come Valentine's Day, this person will text you Happy Valentine's Day. They won't send you a card because they're cheap, okay? That's what I feel. And they're selfish and they just want what they want. And I do feel that they're very aware of what they've done. Uh, you're very aware too. I feel like it's both of you. You're very much aware that um, this person's going to come back around. But I feel like it's going to give you a lot of anxiety. Uh, you're very, you know, I feel like you're very worried that they're going to behave exactly like they did before because it's like, may not be the first time, okay? So we have the deep freeze. Yeah, justice. Somebody didn't treat somebody right. They were left out in the cold. Somebody wasn't fair. They were very cold, too. I feel like this person was very cold to you. Again, selfish, all right, all about themselves. Only interested in passion. You thought you were getting love and all you got was passion. You're still focused on this. You stood up to this person, uh, but you're still focused on this. There may have been a third party, okay? Uh, but I think you, you know, you really did leave, you know, you felt like there was no hope. They made you not feel good enough and you did focus on it for a while. But I feel as though you really stood up for yourself and you were very brave how you handled this. And I think you went off. And I do feel like you have somebody else coming towards you as well. And I feel like it's over with this one person. I really do. I think they carry, there's, they bring nothing but burden. Uh, and they're aware the situation's out of reach. Yeah, I don't think you want to invest in this anymore. I think you were patient for a while to see what would happen. But I, I don't think that you're going to invest in this person. I really don't, Cancer. Uh, I feel like you have somebody else that's coming forward. And this person's had a tough time in love, too. They've gone through something similar. But you have changed. You have evolved. Uh, you've gone through a lot. So you're a little bit worried, too, uh, whether this person is going to commit if they if it'll ever lead to that you're worried it's the same thing with different person but the same thing will happen that's how much anxiety you have uh you're a little apprehensive but i think when you communicate you're going to let this person know okay um but it's like this is your energy uh this is your energy too but it's also both of you okay somebody wanting forgiveness but I feel like you've really had a hard time in love and it's really changed you. Um, I feel as though it's made you scared, apprehensive. Uh, you feel like every person that comes towards you is going to treat you like the person before. But you've learned a lot from it. But you're still anxious, okay? You're still indecisive. So you, this person that's coming towards you could be a Taurus. You may have Taurus in your chart. All right, Cancer. We have the mountain. What is this mountain? Yeah, so somebody wants to end the burdens. Someone's gone through an awakening. They're very aware. Yeah, they've woke up. They're very aware of the burdens. And they want to have a reconciliation. And they want to put an end to this. But I don't know. Uh, Libra energy, very strong. Yeah, this person didn't treat you right, but they want to come back in and balance things out. They actually see you as just right now, but it, I feel like it's a little too late. Don't think you're going to invest in them. Tell me about the burden here with the 10. Tell me about the 10 of staves. Why is this here? Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, there's somebody here that wants to come in and fight for this. Okay. <clears throat> They want to make peace. They want to put the work in. But I don't think you're so sure. And this could be you as well. You could be King of Rods taking a stand. I don't know. You have a lot of burdens. You work a lot. I feel too if it's you. But I think it's this person. And I think this is what they're going to come forward and try to make peace and tell you that they work a lot. 
And uh, they're willing to fight. They're willing to put the work in. They want to put an end to this burden. Yeah, they want to come in and make things right. Moving towards... I think you got two people. Uh, and I don't think the other person did anything to you, Cancer. I feel more like because of what happened to you in the past, you've changed. Okay, you've had a really, really tough time. And now you're scared that every person, you just have a lot of anxiety that it's going to happen again, right? Even though I think you got somebody who's willing to fight for you, I do feel uh, they could be a Aries, Leo, Sag, they could be a Scorpio uh, coming in to offer you this cup of love, um, take you on a date, do something, share their feelings with you. But until you have the truth, I don't think, I think you're going to keep your feelings hidden. You're not going to say too much until you have the clarity because you don't have all the truth yet. And that's why you're anxious. You don't have clarity. Okay. So until you are ending a cycle with uh, an earth sign, possibly. Okay. Uh, the Libra. This person's thinking about coming in, thinking about you, thinking about taking you out as well. They also may have water in their chart, but I, I think it's over. I think it's finished with them. Uh, I think you have somebody else that's willing to fight for you, that somebody who will work on this, and that's what you want, okay? Um, they could be a Leo for some of you as well, but somebody's trying to gain the strength and the confidence to come forward, and it could be you trying to gain strength and confidence, trying to find out what's going on, because you're whether you can trust this next person. Uh, if it's gonna, If it's the same scenario, it's like it's happened to you enough times that you're afraid, so yeah, look at this Taurus energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So I feel like there's somebody here. Yeah, this person, they want forgiveness for not committing. They want, they've learned a lot. I feel like they're coming in. They're anxious. So it's definitely flipping for the other person, but they have a plan. Okay, this person's uh, definitely evolved coming in to make things right okay going about things the right way putting paying attention to the details trying to figure out how to move this forward but you're not going to until you're clear no matter who comes towards you whether it's an ex or a new person you're still feeling the same way you've been love has just been this constant uphill battle so um, you're just going to wait to see how things evolve. You're going to wait till you get clarity because you don't have the clarity. When this person comes in to offer you this knight of chalices, right, this energy offering you this cup, it's like, oh no, is this going to happen again? Is this person doing, is this all going to be the same thing? So somebody is definitely uh, coming in very grounded, very practical. This person's coming in sincere and they're very aware that that's what they need to do. So their plan is to come in and commit. Okay, but they they feel like uh, they want some kind of forgiveness or they're a little bit apprehensive. They may have been through something too. I think you got two people with earth in your chart coming in. One, it's done. Uh, the other person, because of your past hurts and what's happened, you've, it's, you're scared. Yeah, this person wants to commit. They're planning to commit. They're working through the details. They're very grounded, very practical. Uh, they have a solid foundation. All right. Wow. Wizard of Awareness. What is this Wizard of Awareness? Yeah, they're coming to see you. This person wants to make peace or they're coming to visit you. And you got the Six of Swords. This person here <clears throat> coming back in to make peace for being in and out. Yeah, that's the one here. You don't feel like there's any hope. It could be a Virgo energy. You got a Virgo and a Taurus. You got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You've got... <laughs> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you got everyone. So you guys take it however it resonates, but that's the energy. So is uh, leaving one person, there's no hope. Uh, somebody very much regrets um, not doing things the right way the first time or taking too long, right? Somebody's taken too long here. They want to make things right. They may feel even some shame for not considering your feelings. But, yeah, they've gone through a bit of an awakening, but I don't know. They want this reconciliation, but I feel like as this moves on, if this person comes in, I feel, and they'll eventually communicate. I, I don't know. I think you, you may have gone through an awakening and evolved yourself, and you're not going to, I don't see you honestly doing it. I think you got somebody else. Tell me about Wizard of Awareness. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this person is going to come in and surrender. They're aware that they need to surrender. They need to come into you. Or um, it's either that or they're going to have to give up. But I don't think so. Um, yeah, somebody may be aware they got to give up. That could be how it ends. All right, they'll just be carrying those burdens. But you got somebody moving in here, wants to make peace, or somebody who's learned a lot and they're coming your way. I just think it's both of you have learned a lot from this, but I, I feel like you've been very hurt. Uh, tell me about Cancer's feelings here with the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so you're holding yourself in high regard here. You're, you're single. You're taking care of yourself. You're very grounded and very practical. Good for you, Cancer. Okay, yeah, you're doing okay. You've evolved. You've moved past this. Um, you know, healing, feeling sorry for yourself, feeling beat up, and you're doing okay. You're doing well. I, I'm happy to see that, okay? And if you're not right now, this is a sign that you're going to uh, evolve, and it's going to change you. And it's actually changing you for the better. Yeah, you've gone through changes. You've evolved. You're having victories. Wow. So... Yeah, I, I feel like it. I think it was tough. This was a tough situation. I think leaving this one person behind, letting this other person come in. But I don't think this person, when you, they know there's no hope because of what they did. And I, I don't think they're going to give up too easy. I think they're going to come in and and keep trying to work on this. All right. And they're going to tell you that they want to fight for this. They want to work on it. But there's another person coming towards you as well. And I, I feel like they definitely are the one that you're, they're going to come right at you. Um, they are possibly the Scorpio Cancer or Scorpio Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, heading in your direction, coming in to surrender because they don't want to give up. I don't think either one does. <clears throat> and I don't think you're giving up on love, that's for sure. Nah, you're good. You've learned a lot. You know exactly what to do. You're going to take everything that you have in this boat, all these swords, all this stuff that you've learned, and you're going to move forward. I, I just, I don't feel it going well with this person that hurt you that was in and out. I don't feel that at all. I don't, they're, they're not going to give up easy, but I don't feel like there's a lot of hope. I think this other person's much better. Uh, yeah, you've got a Scorpio. You've got a Scorpio that's coming in to fight for you. So there's an end to conflict. Something's transforming. There's a person who's going to take a leap of faith and a risk towards you. Something is changing. Yeah, no more conflict. End of conflict. End of anybody with any competition. Finished. Uh, there's somebody coming in to take a risk. They could be a Scorpio, okay, who's gone through some changes themselves. They've also had a tough time. So they may be a little anxious, all right, too. They may have been hurt. Similar situations. So, yeah. They don't have to be a Scorpio. They could be an Aries for some of you. Taking a risk. Taking a leap of faith. Going on a new path. Uh, but if you've got... Um, you're definitely leaving one person behind. Uh, you're ready for something brand new. Yeah, you don't want to get trapped in the past. See? See? Yeah, you, you do not want to get trapped in the past. And some of you were trapped in the past for a long time and trapped in your heads. And I don't think you want to. I think you're going to put an end to this. There's somebody else who's coming towards you that's willing to fight for you. You want commitment. You don't want to get trapped in the past with somebody who's non-committal. You don't want to get trapped with someone who's going to turn around and... Like this is the card of tradition as well. Uh, somebody who tr traditionally behaves the way they did before. That's what you're worried about. Okay. So, wow, Cancer. I'm just going to check one more thing here. Tell me about this judgment. What's going to happen with judgment? Yeah, somebody wants to heal. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's. you may clear the air with this person. You may heal the situation, drop the burdens, but I don't think you're going to take them back. No, I don't think so. You can't see a way forward. This person played you. You can't see a way forward to this being fixed. This person was arrogant, and you just cannot see a way forward. You're, you're, it's making you very indecisive, okay? Uh, you don't want to get played. You just can't see it. I don't see it either. I, as soon as I seen these cards come up, I went, eh, there's somebody else coming in. Yeah, there's, yeah, you're going to take off in another direction. Somebody played you. They were going in two directions. So there you are, Cancer. You're going to get your emotions in control. You're going to take control of this situation and, and get out of there. You're going for something better. So let me grab a couple outcome cards. 
Let me grab a couple outcome cards for you guys. What is the outcome of this situation for cancer? What is the outcome of this situation? Uh, you got it all. You're going, you're not sticking around for that person. You're going to use all the power and strength you have to leave that behind. You're going to go for this new person. Yeah, the one that's going to fight for you. The water sign with the uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag in their chart, or they could be a Scorpio. This person's definitely a victory. You're going to have success. They see you as everything they want. Yeah, co-create. So Spirit's trying to get you to co-create with someone. So you're very careful about who you co-create with. Um, you're definitely going to be careful about anybody who's arrogant, any tricksters right yeah somebody's a little bit of a trickster they might come in and tell you they're gonna uh, team up and cooperate and they actually don't there you're worried they're just going to behave exactly like they did before and that's what i see so you've got success you're you're doing really wonderful and i think you're going off on a whole new path with a new person and if they haven't come in yet they're going to okay cancer yeah see the bigger picture you see the bigger picture you certainly do, yeah. You know exactly what's going on. Yeah, clearing out the clutter. That's the bigger picture is clear out the old. Don't live in the past. Get trapped in the past situation. I feel like you were for a long time, but you got, you're got you very aware that you need to let go of this to move forward successfully with a new person. Yeah, you've learned. Yeah, even though this past person wants to come back and they're going to tell you they've learned, I don't, you're not going to buy it. I don't see it. I feel you having a lot of anxiety. No, this person's just going to treat you like they did. Doesn't matter how much they apologize, say they're going to commit. I don't think it's going to happen. I really don't. Because the Hierophant to me with that energy is someone who behaves how they traditionally always behave. All right, this is a person who will play with you. They don't care. They just want what they want, right? And you know it. You see the bigger picture. So one more card. You've learned from the past, and you're going to take everything you learned and move forward. Yep, you're going deep. You're cutting someone out. You're moving moving on, and you're going to go deep with somebody else. You're going to get very deep. You have a deep connection coming in. Yep, there's always enough. You've had enough of the past. Time to move forward. Couldn't be any better. <laughs> This is good luck, okay? Yeah, there's you found somebody who's enough for you, the right person. And you've had enough of the past people coming back in. Over finito, you're moving towards somebody else who will commit to you, somebody who's very solid, okay? They've also had their tough time, so they get it, all right? Ooh, all right, Cancer, take care of yourselves. Comment away and let me know how this goes, all right? We'll see you guys next week. Bye for now.